All right, guys, so on today's video, we're going to turn around and uh, be showing you how to install a kitchen sink and faucet. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it on any of my videos. I'm actually a licensed plumber um, in the state of Connecticut. So uh, anyhow, I'm uh, going to do a video on how to install a kitchen faucet. I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so uh, what you got to start off doing when disconnecting a sink, disconnect all the drainage from it and then you got to disconnect the water supply lines right there all right and then we're going to end up pulling the sink right out of its spot so uh, when you get that done I'll show you what it looks like all right so to disconnect these nuts you're simply going to twist these off And then you're going to take that nut right there off and that nut right there off. Make sure the water's off. Turning it to the right to shut the water off. And uh, righty tighty lefty loosey there for the uh, nuts. Alright guys, we got all of it disconnected now. Now we just turn around and lift the sink out of place. Check it out. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys. So this is the new uh, white Kohler double bowl cast iron sink uh, mowing faucet. So you're just gonna slide it into the hole, and then you're gonna put the two lock nuts on those two threaded shanks right there. Be right back. All right. So you're just gonna make sure that those are tight. Um, and put a, put a wrench on it. Uh, another thing is make sure when you turn the handles on, they go in towards the faucet. Uh, you don't want to accidentally put it on backwards. Alrighty, and next thing up is going to be the supply lines. Tighten up those two gray nuts and then the supply lines. We'll be right back. And you put those supply tubes on. Do them hand tight. And crank them on. Not too tight though. Tight is tight, too tight is not good. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, the sink is in place now. Just drop the basket strainer in the hole. You can see it's right there. I'm gonna put the rubber gasket first. Then the paper gasket and then the, the cup. Slide it up. And then you're gonna just tighten that nut. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is all put back together. Got the P-trap going into the uh, double waste, into the T in the center. You got your basket strainers and you got your water lines hooked up. I'm going to turn it on and test it for leaks. When you first turn on your faucet, take your aerator off. That'll just unthread. And then you're going to turn it on nice and slow. We're going to turn the valves on underneath first.
All right, that one's on. This one here is a quarter turn. Okay, you got your water on. No water leaks. You got your aerator off. check it hang on one minute all right so we got the water on oh, we do got a little drip there all right guys so uh, we're all done uh, water sprayer works all right last thing I always do is I always take the model of the faucet and I Take it right on the door, right there, just so you always know what model faucet you got, in case you ever need any parts. Uh, again, no leaks, tested out the dishwasher, and that's good. Uh, put some electrical tape over the, the metal band on it, so that uh, when people are reaching in there, they don't get cut by that metal band. And uh, we're good to go. Any uh, questions, let me know. Hope you enjoyed our video, and uh, if you would, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, take care of yourselves, and God bless. Peace!